Hello, this is Danny Doyle, and I'm here with more Call of the Armor 0% Growths, and we are going to sell some of these one-use chest keys. Just so we can afford to buy Vivek a heal staff. Uh, yes, his staff grinding is that important. Um, there are plenty of people who are just, like, barely scraping by with two-use weapons and stuff. No, Vivek gets staff grind. That's the important part. Out of all of my possible candidates, I've decided to promote Uyama. Um, we're sending her Swordmaster. I don't know why Assassin's the default. I guess maybe because it's the, uh... I guess because it's alphabetically the first one. But yeah, um, I could have promoted a flyer, I could have promoted two different Cavaliers, I could have promoted Philip if I wanted a Berserker and be extra silly, but I'm going with an extra Swordmaster. Um, that's right, we have three Swordmasters now. Suck it, Trebek. Okay, we have two new units up here in the top left. Um... I'm gonna talk about Drowan first. So Drowan is the second thief. Um, somebody has to be the second thief. It's not a glamorous job, but uh, it, it is an important one, uh, both for a zero growth context and just in general. Um, I think that having a second thief who sort of replaces the first thief and has a higher base speed is a natural part of the Fire Emblem lifespan. And that's kind of where Drowan fits in. He has 15 speed as opposed to the base 11 that William had. Um, now, Drowan does not have William's uh, downside of massive constitution, although it does also end up being, you know, it's not an upside, because now he can't use blades, right? He's, he's slowed down if he uses blades. Um, so if you care about being a fast unit that uses blades, well, William doesn't exactly have you there because he has 20% speed growth. Um, but for the, the short term, I guess William's combat is, like, more acceptable than Drowan's is. Uh, Drowan does have the clam knife to attempt to sort of like make up some of the difference here. Uh, it's a reaver weapon and it is armor effective, so it is like made for killing armor knights. Uh, and I guess I can also do some stuff against great knights if they have lances, but he's mostly here to be thief number two. Um, and look at that, he brings his own lockpick, so you know what that means. Ansha? We no longer have need of your services, Mr. Lockpick. Uh, 730 gold. I actually don't know if I want to purchase a heal staff with that, or a weapon, or leave it, because there's mend available here. If we sell another uh, two single-use door keys, we can get a mend. So, let me think about it. Um, I believe that there's... I believe there's some door keys we can get rid of. There's no keys we can get rid of. Ooh. Ooh. This one's tricky. Okay. I think... We'll figure that out after we talk about... Goo. Goo! The meme lord, Goo! Of course, Goo is fucking iconic. Um, so Goo is a bone walker. Um, he is functionally just an archer, except for worse, because archers can promote into ranger if they want, but Goo always promotes into, I believe it's called white, but it's functionally sniper. Um, except for that it takes effective damage from enemy bishops because enemy bishops have Slayer, which is relevant for a boss in the late game. Um, not that Goo, like, wants to fight enemy bishops because he has no resistance. Um, he has a weirdly high amount of defense for an archer. Uh, like, it, his best stat is his defense, but he, he's a late game archer. Um, or a halfway through, a mid game archer. Uh, who can't, he doesn't even have the benefit of being able to go ranger. Like, we're gonna get another shitty archer in the interlude too, um, or at least have the option to get a shitty archer who can go ranger. There's also someone who's already a ranger. We get some pre-promoted snipers very shortly afterwards. Um, Goo doesn't really offer us much. Uh, no personal weapons. b rank bows is nice, and like, 13 strength is, is something I'm not going to scoff at at this point in time. My army is very lacking, though. Uh, I feel like most armies don't particularly want goo. Um, 
Much like Drowin brought us a lockpick as a gift, Goo is bringing us the Wife Ring, which is plus two skill and luck, uh, which can potentially help with um, uh, accuracy problems. I know that uh, Toffee's 100% growths playthrough of uh, uh, the 100% growths LTC used the Wife Ring to rig a bolting crit in chapter 13. Um, so that's a benefit if you if you you know if you want to do crit rigging stuff. Um, on the topic of crit rigging, let's get to the clear. All right. Well, you saw that Abdul is here, so you know what that means. We're beginning with some RNG burn and chill. So we're gonna go ahead and rig uh, a crit to kill this armor knight. Uh, he does still need to do its hit plus crit, but the hit is 100%, so all we're rigging is the crit. Um, and that's basically Abdul's most significant contribution for the map. He's gonna do a little bit more, probably, but that, that was the most important thing that he did. Um, we are going to then rescue Vector. Um, both because Vector can't reach the Shaman without it, but also because this helps to build up uh, max staff rank, which is something we care about. Lily's going to kill this archer. Um, the reason that we're rushing this left-hand side is I, on, like, I think turn two, there's going to be some pirates who show up, and I want them to not be alive. Um... I want them to die. And I think it's turn three, actually, the pirates show up. But I want to kill the pirates because they threaten a village up in the top right. Um, they're not the only inter on the map because you might have noticed it's raining out. This is not the bad FE7 rain. This is the good Call of the Armor rain. Um, the rain is going to flood the map slowly but surely. Kind of like the Guidance in um, Binding Blade and Blazing Blade. But unlike those, uh, the water never, like, recedes. So it serves as a time limit rather than an annoying, like, waste your time machine. Where what is going on is uh, parts of the map, including villages and shops, will become water. And when the villages and shops become water, you can't get them anymore. And if the ground under your feet becomes water, your units, since they don't have water walking, just, like, can't move. Um, so it stops you from, like, getting to the objective that you want. Uh, can we... Yeah. Okay, I'll have them attack first so they face a counter. I'm trying to get someone to get damaged so that the vet can take... can, uh build some staff rank. That's why we bought him the heal staff. Um, one thing that is slightly unfortunate is the shop right above us sells men's staffs, but we're not going to be able to get money to buy those men's staffs before the shop drowns. It drowns on, like, I think the beginning of player phase turn three. Um, so since we exhausted our funds, we don't have the money to go shopping there. Uh, which is sad, but it happens. Uh, I think Toro is going to go this way. We're going to skip the boss's dialogue. Uh, that's basically just to inform us about the rain. He's like, oh, it's coming down. We got to be careful. Get out of here before the rain. Um, so that's unfortunate for, for our little skeletons. Um, unfortunate for all of the residents of this village. They're going to lose their homes and it's going to be sad for them, but at least that means some of them will join our army. Um, including Goo and Drowin. Uh, the reason that I'm rushing over to them, despite the fact that Goo and Drowin would join as long as they're alive as green units, um, Drowin actually has some things I want him to steal on this map. They are... On enemies that are too fast for William to reasonably get to, even in a growth context, because William's gro speed growth is 20 fucking percent. Uh, but Drowin shows up just in time to be thief number two. Uh, there's a Master Seal, there's a Secret Book, there's an Elixir. Um, I believe there's a Red Gem as well on a, a Shaman. And I want all of them. 
And I, I need to get Drowin quickly for that reason, because, um, we run into this situation where as the water goes down, it becomes, you know, like, if, if an area is flooded, we can't get there. Oh, that was a very good dodge. Um, that was a very good dodge. Very happy that that didn't hit Mac. Because Mac is the... Mac would have to take a turn off to Vulnerary since he's the only healer over there. He, uh, I can't afford, with splitting the party, I can't afford to send a healer with each group. Um, so, unfortunately, Mac is kind of going to have to be self-sustaining. Um, or not self-sustaining, because he's going to heal everyone else, so he's going to have to sustain everyone else. Okay. We're just watching the skeletons kill the humans. Um, these skeletons are actually not undead. They are, uh, the rain is sort of like acid rain, I think, and it, it like, melted their skin. Because Goo is Drowin's father, who's been, like, cursed to become Goo. Um, don't waste the killer bow. God, he's so fucking mediocre. Look at his gosh darn stats. They're so awful. I think we go up. Yeah. Okay. Um. I need this bow dead. Like yesterday. Okay, we can. Hmm. Eighteen. Twelve times two. One. Thirty. Okay, I think we heal shale. Um, we have Sunwing and Killian team up to take on the archer. Stabby, stabby. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, uh... 7, 21... This is two uses of the bread knife. Seventeen... Plus... Twelve, was it? I prefer this. Yeah, I prefer this. So we'll go ahead and... If we crit, we good, but otherwise we have Shale as a backup. Okay. So Shale can shoot him. Because we need him dead, because we don't have a Feely Shield available. Okay. Uh, Ansha's gonna have to grab the Lance Reaver. Um, I'll send... I'll send the Iron Bow. It's three uses. I'm just going to grab the Lance Reaver. I don't want to activate that support because there's better options for uh, Killian to people who are going to be around longer term. Okay, we can chill. Yeah, we can chill here. Just do some chilling. Most of what Abdul was here for was that turn one rig, so the rest of what he does is not super relevant to our game plan. Um, I was hoping that Uyama would crit on one of her two attacks, but since she didn't... Ooh, that's clean. Okay. And then Kim can... This is not the best situation in the world. Because there are the two ballistas. There's one up north and one to the right. But there's certainly worse positions we could be in. Such as this over here. This kind of is a mess. Okay, we'll have Mac attack. Heal Lily. I want Vector to... Bait the Mercenary, but I don't want to go so far up that the Myrmidon and Soldiers start moving. 
Vector can go here. Toro can go here. Yeah, this seems good. This seems good. This seems good. Um, I think going aggressively up north uh, doesn't benefit us that much because we are still dealing with that ballista. Okay, Killian... I don't think the other... I don't think the North Ballista can reach Killian. So I think we're fine. Okay, Vector, if you could crit, that would be awesome. Oh, so gamer. So gamer. Okay, okay, okay. Now, can I reach... The Ballista with the Longbow this turn? Because if so, I will rescue boost Lily up to be able to take it down. But I don't think I can. And also the Myrmidon moved anyway, which was not part of the plan. Okay, Kim's fine. She's mostly here as like a rescue bot and also surprisingly tanky unit. Um, but she's not really going to do any combat that I care about. Uh, I also don't care if these skeletons live or die. Um... Or undie. I mean, they're not undead, but they're... You, you know slash don't know what I mean, question mark? Do -do -lo -lo. Do -do -lo -lo. Do -do -lo -lo. Do -do -lo -lo. All right. Uh, I wish that I could get this Windsword guy, honestly. Because Goo is just like incredibly disappointing and at the very least the wind sword guy would give me a wind sword in his inventory i guess goo gives me the wife ring which is nice and he gives me um he gives me uh okay i think we'll go here to recruit him he gives me the wife ring which is nice and he gives me um oh right it's a double reaver. Okay, there we go. We clammed him. Uh, killer bow. Which is pretty okay, too. I'm gonna give the poison sword. We'll take the lockpick off of him as well, so he has more room to steal things. And give it to the supply. And we'll move Noki... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're good to go here then. Uh, I think Goo's gonna go here and grab the sleep bow. Just before that house drowns. Uh, Uyama, how do you do here? You would have to get a crit. You do double here, so I'll have Ansha take care of this guy. Ooh! No silencer, but the 8% crit is nice. It's appreciated. Um. I'll have Shale. Ooh. He's shy. Okay, Sunwing can. Sunwing could take drop Kuja. Which might be nice. Sunwin can also fight the soldier, which is also might be nice. But Kim can fight the soldier. Nine attack for three defense, eleven. Definitely doesn't double because she's Garbo. Wait, if I sixteen versus three. Okay, so she deals thirteen. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, we can great arc this guy. Which I'm fine with using. I know it's the S rank. We are at past the halfway point in the game. I'm fine with using that there. Then Kim. Not very accurately. They're the same accuracy, yeah. Just shy too. Okay, well. Here's open. There we go. Okay. So then Vivek can heal up 
jail, probably? Yes. Yeah, Vivek can heal Shale. And also give him the Iron Axe. Vivek could get hit by the Eastern Ballista, but the Ballista is not going to double him and no one else can reach on this turn. Okay, Vuyama can't kill. Okay. Um, we'll grab the Vulnerary. Heal up. I think we take Drop Kuja here. I might go for her. Yeah. Go there. And they're all good. Okay. Uh, I think Yama just hides in the bushes. I'm worried about her getting ganged up on by the soldier plus the ballista. But I guess the same could be true of Ancha. So that's gonna be 15. She exactly dies to the combination of the two of them. So I think we give her the Lance Reaver. Go up like that, okay. Now, we want the pirates dead. What can Toro do against them? Not great. Um, okay. We know this guy doubles Mac. So we don't want to let him attack Mac attack. So Mac can deal 16 to this pirate, which means if we have Vector gamble for a kill, no crits, no crits, okay. Um, okay, I think what we do is Toro, give the Tam's Harpoon for an Iron Sword. Kill this guy with an iron sword. And then we grab Tam's harpoon with Lily. Just like that. And kill the pirate with it. Very good. Boom. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And now they're in that sort of block formation. Very good dodge tank Drowin. And we poisoned him too. Poison sword's such a fucking shit weapon. I think it's I always think it's very funny when like people are upset that they don't have access to the poison weapons. Uh, and I get why, because it feels bad when the enemy has a tool that you don't, but like the poison weapons, I'm a hundred percent convinced were made so that enemies can be less threatening, right? Like if they want to make an enemy less threatening without bothering, because the enemies get like auto-leveled, right? That Their stats are affected by their level. So if they want to make an enemy less threatening without bothering of like changing their levels, because changing the levels affects the experience gain, which we see in um, FE7 in terms of like the way that FE7 makes the enemies easier is by leveling them down and then it fucks with the experience gain of the entire cast. Instead, uh... I think that the, the poison weapon was a way to get around that, right? A way to be like, okay, we're going to make this unit, this enemy, weaker by giving them a garbage weapon. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da -da. The skeletons are not doing very good. Normally, I have Kuja uh, walk on her own to get over to them, and she's able to like do some amount of the fighting on the leftmost island, but... I think that I kind of need, like, 
I needed sort of all hands on deck as fast as I could. There's some reinforcement Pegasuses. There's also one down here, yeah. To be nervous about. You have two shots left. You have all five, right? Yeah. Okay, we can deal 12. How much does Lily do with the Levis Lencia? She definitely doubles, right? 16 AS versus slow as shit AS. Okay, so it's 19. So it would be 11 times two. Yeah, so if we hit this, which isn't great accuracy wise. Can she make it from here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, she would not make it from there. Okay, unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, We can hope for an 8% crit. Potentially, that might actually be, like, our best option. And then if that doesn't work, we trade an axe onto him. Okay, so we trade an axe onto him for the upcoming Pegasus. Um... How do they do, by the way? Ugh. This is not great. Okay. Goo is so god-awful. Holy shit. Goo is just fucking terrible. Um... We do also need to start moving Drowin. I think we moved Drown here. Give him the clam knife so we have triangle over the pet at the peg. God, dude, you're so fucking awful. Just absolute garbage. Such bad hit rates, such bad everything. Okay, if we I mean the guy's in the forest. Even though it's like a three hit difference. I'm more charitable for desumming because desumming isn't goo because goo's garbage. Um. We definitely need to trade onto Shale an axe. I would also like to start baiting this shaman. But unfortunately, it overlaps with the second Shaman, and also the Ballista Boat. Okay, six res. So it would be ten. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Because none of them double, yeah. Okay. So Noki. Noki goes just to the very edge of the ballista to be able to rescue out. I think Sunwing. Okay, Goo, can you, like, please get a crit or something? Doesn't even fucking hit. What an absolute piece of shit. Ooh, boy. Um. Yikeses. Okay, if we get a crit with Abdul, we do not. I used all of my rigging on the first turn, and now I'm just not getting any of the luck. Okay. That's okay. Uh, ooh. Yeah, Kim getting doubled by freaking everything is definitely eating into her ability to uh, perform as a good unit. Seems not great. Uh, less than ideal, shall I say. Okay. Is this square safe from all of these? It is. Okay. So I can have D Sunwing go here. Use the Iron Lance, I guess. 
Uh. What do you do here? All of you. Okay, we can bread knife here. 6, 12, 18, yeah. So this does kill with the bread knife. Very good, Killian. Okay. We have Kimdo here. We definitely don't want Vivek in range of the Pegasus. He gets fucking destroyed. Uh, we could actually put Vivek here in the forest. Heal Abdul, and then potentially Abdul is like... Or potentially Vivek is like bait for the Ballista. Abdul might still be. Not sure. We only have two more turns of the Ballista. Okay. So you can move the Toro up there. Heal the Toro with Mac. Uh, how close is Mac to war? He's used rescue once. He's going to a second time next turn to rescue Warp Lily up. Oh, he's so close to Warp. So close, I can taste it. Okay, we'll go up here. We'll Vulnerary, because I think Mac is going to be spending his next turn on rescue. And we'll move Lily next to a Toro. Okay. And we just have to... It's... The AI, honestly, is the... Okay, going for the green unit. I don't know why, because Goo was right there and can't counter. Goo can at least shoot down one of the problematic pegs, the, the peg down below. We can give her the clams. I think, actually, we'd probably kill with the clam knife, right? Yeah, okay. So Goo isn't needed, because his son has the situation under control. do 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 I cannot disassociate Drowin from Rad Quetz because that is the portrait the Code of the Burger King used for Rad Quetz. Um, and it's one of those things where, like, the first time you see a portrait, you kind of associate it with that character. But it's especially for Rad Quetz because it looks like Rad Quetz since Rad Quetz is, like, an actual mainline guy. The Ballista doubles Kim? I didn't even bother checking. It's 7 AS! What the fuck is her AS? Oh, she has the Steel Lance equipped. That's what's going on. That was a very good dodge. Very good dodge. Uh, actually, that second Shaman... Does that second Shaman not move? Because I think we're clogging the space that that second Shaman would reach. We might be clogging the space. We are clogging the space. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to lure him down. He is the stealable red gem. Uh, which I want. Okay. This guy killing... No. It's fine. Uh, so those pirates have a stealable uh, secret book. This one does. Also. Yikes. Okay. If we can... Can we go out on a bang with the last chill? The last chill! That's only 24, but still. That's hype. That's hype. Good job, Abdul. Way to chill. Okay, now Killian. I mean, Kim can probably kill this guy now, right? Yes, she can. Yeah, he's 7 AS. Um, he's also out of ammo, so that's one ballista that's not a problem anymore. Um, so we can sort of more freely fly over here, but there is now this ballista to worry about too. Uh, and of course, this guy's got the heavy spear. So Kuja does not want to fight him. Uh, Goo, do you still suck? Of course you do. Of course you do, buddy. Of course you do. You, you stinky. You lousy stinky. Okay. So 
We want to move Kuja. Soldier, one, two, three, four, five. So we can go here. We could potentially warp. Ooh. We could warp Trowan. And then steal and then rescue. That actually might... I actually might like that plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of... It feels very silly, but I kind of like the idea of warping Drowin. And then stealing the red gem and then rescuing him out of harm's way. And we can take drop with no key. It's the stupidest first warp of the entire fucking universe. But I'm 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 baller now. I'm baller now. So he can steal the red gem. Cause we spent all of our money on the warps! Technically speaking, that red gem is worth more than one fifth of a warp staff. So, you know. It's not even like it was a waste of money. Okay, so we can... Give the javelin... Take... Drop... And then fly over, like... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this will be safe. Yeah, I'm so good at counting. Wait. Yeah, no, we're good. We're, we're actually good. We're actually baller. Okay, uh, well, I guess we're not so baller because we're in range of the freaking... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Well, now y'all can all move up pretty freely. Um... I do want to start luring this guy down because he has the sealable master seal. And he can be a bit of a problem in terms of, like, the pirates getting over there sooner, or whatever. We do also want to get that village before the pirates get there. And, like, Lily... As long as she doesn't go in range of the ballista, Lily can jab down these guys, right? Yeah, very safely can do that. So what we need to do is we need to kill both of you. Okay, we can kill the peg and we can kill the soldier. And then Lily can take care of the shamans. So we can start getting nearer to the Master Seal soldier. And I'm, I'm more than happy to aggressively throw away rescues because it's getting me staff rank. Uh, the rescue is worth so much staff rank. Like, I just I just checked max staff rank, but let's look at it again and see just how much one use of rescue gave him. Like, that's a lot. That's how you quickly get... That's how you quickly get, um... Rescue. Like, or, or warp, rather. Is you get to B rank, and then within a chapter you get to A. Um... Okay, I know... We'll go like that. I've Killian visit the village, I think. Get another red gem. And then, I guess, Uyama can go over here as well. Move Toro up. Move Vector up. Okay. So those pirates are gonna go for the last village, the one on the upper right. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting movement for all of them. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, you're going for Noki. Which is un unfortunate, because otherwise... I mean, obviously we wouldn't have put Ansha there, because then otherwise 
he would have been able to be countered no matter what. How does Lily match up against this Pegasus Knight? Because obviously she's fine against both of the Shamans. Like, they're, they're, they're not making it to player phase. They're not making it to player phase. God, I love her Dark Flyer Pegasus. Like, this is just... This is the Fire Emblem Awakening unit, is what she is. Bonk. Bonk. And this one Shaman is just gonna kill all of the green units. This is, this is... I am cultist Destro- Oh! No, he's not destroyer of green units. The green units are destroyer of him. No! He's taking the arena! Goo is gonna go to the arena! Wait! No! Don't take the arena! Okay, at least... Wait. Wait. Why did he... The only guy who attacked the magical guy was the guy attacking on Rez. That's not fair. Okay. How do you clams here? That said, this guy does have the steel of a Lilix here. So we should see. How does Yama do against him? Almost kills him. Okay. So I think Ancha. Actually, how does Ancha do against him? Okay. Uh, we want this Shaman dead. Noki can do that. Goo can... Right, because the Sleepo is no might, so the effectiveness doesn't actually matter. Uh, we can get a longbow out of the convoy, I think. We should check. Yeah. Okay. So, Goo... Take... Okay, so... Give the sleep bow, the elixir, and the killer bow, and the night ring. Take long bow, iron bow. Grab the loot from your son. Trade, or rather supply. Give that as well. And kill this... Well, if you hit. Come on, Goo, please. Yes! Okay, never mind. I take back everything because Goo is actually a five-star unit. Um, He's here when you need him to be. Okay, so we do that. Very good, very good. Uh... Okay, we can get... We can kill that guy with Shale. Vivek kills Shale. Shale longbows the Shaman. And then we can team up to kill the Heavy Spear Soldier. Okay. Okay. Now we're now we're talking business. Now we're talking... Oh! He wanted that guy dead. Okay. And then... Not you. Lance Reaver. She was supposed to dodge. I mean, we we have we have action economy to get her out of there, actually. So it's it's actually fine. Okay, you can. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Uh, we have a hoplon guard for the killer axe as well over here. Who has the hoplon guard on this side? Shale? Shale does. Okay. You can do this. Actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, fine. We'll just have to go over here. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, we'll go over here. No, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we can go here. And 
and then... How does Lily match up against this, this peg? Actually quite well. Problem. It's not actually a problem. Okay. Um... So we will take... We need to check the ranges. Again, I keep forgetting the ballista range. Okay. It's basically all of this. Okay, what is your rescue range? To next to Vivek. So we'll take... Go over here. We'll use... One that actually grants weapon rank. I feel like such a gamer doing this. Wait. No, okay, we're good, yeah. I feel like such a freaking gamer. Okay. Lily. Wait, that... That one's a bad one, right? No, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, so Lily go here. There we go. And then we can escort Drowin up to be able to steal that Master Seal. Like the Secret Book too? We'll see if we can swing it. We don't have a heal staff, do we? We do not. Okay, uh... Go here, take, drop. Do -do -do. That's Ancha, not Drowin. God damn it. That's Drowin. I got the thieves mixed up. All right, well, let's give potential target. Okay. Well, that was a... <laughs> Antra can't steal because she's an assassin. It's actually so awkward. Okay. This is, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Okay, are the green units gonna... Why do they want to go to the arena? Okay. Fine. There we go. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, at the very least... Uh, I like these pirates start moving down. But the secret book one is the one who I don't want to kill. And I have a chance of killing... <laughs> Could give Drowin the Hoplon guard, put him in the forest. Just doesn't seem great though. TBH. I think Drowin getting to the other side of the map is actually. To, to get the Master Seal right, is actually better. Two uses left too. Ooh. Um... So we can warp Drowin, and then rescue Drowin. If we warp Drowin, how far is that? So that's there. One, two, so we, we warp to there. And then what's the farthest we can rescue from? If we warp Drown over here, then in order to reach two to the left of uh, Vivek, we have to be here. Yep. 
to up here. Which gets us pretty close, actually. So we can send Lily up here to be able to get the village safe from the ballistas. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think instead of warping Drowin, we just have Drowin move and rescue him. Again, mostly just using the rescue staff so that we get the staff experience for warp. And we can rescue, take drop a Rooney, and Vivek is just about ready for rescue as well. Okay. Seems pretty good to me. Now, we do want to make sure we're not luring these pirates, so all y'all just leave, I guess. Because the pirates will move towards the village, but then Lily can get the village next turn. And then the pirates will presumably go full aggro. Oh, we need to get this village before it drowns. They can do that. Because I want that barrier staff. Um, I bet you can guess why. It's not because my units need more resistance. I'll tell you that much. Move them. Or him. Uh, it would be sick if Abdul was non-binary because Abdul is sick, but... Not all sick people can be non-binary, and that's okay. We should accept that some people on the gender binary are also absolutely sick, and uh, we can respect that about them. Okay, so you are going for Killian, that's fine. I believe there's another wave of Pegasus Knights later, but I don't know... Bonk Tim. Okay. More drowning. There. Okay. It's. I know when now. I know when now. Also, check out down here. Yeah, they're all stranded now. I know when the Pegasus Knights come now. I figured out the puzzle. That's okay, because we have this. We have Shale the Mighty. God, what a gamer. Okay, so Drowin. Grab the Master Seal. Move you. You can heal. Heal a Rooney. There's only one Ballista shot left in that middle Ballista. We do still have to deal with the one on the top left, but it covers significantly less of the screen real estate. Um, so now Vivek can start spamming rescue, um, uh, since Mac is now a warper. Unfortunately, we don't have rescues to give, but okay, 15... 10. 10. Okay, that's actually pretty gamer. Actually pretty gamer. Very good. I guess technically Mac is the one who should be getting the kill, because his light rank matters now to potentially get the S rank light. Um, Tome, but he's pretty far away from that. And he's mostly going to be a staffer from now on. So I don't know that it... I, I don't know that that's more important enough to think about, right? 
Uh, this armory has a bunch of effective weapons. And longbow. So we can actually go shopping next next turn. Grab another longbow. Um, Yama goes up there. All right, Kim. As long as you hit, you're a gamer. God, it looks so brutal. The sprite animations, like, because the, the lance goes straight through his freaking face. Okay, so what we'll do is visit. We get ourselves a Lance Reaver. We go to safety. And now the map is basically done. The biggest challenge for us is now going to be stealing this secret book successfully and killing all the pirates on the same turn. But I trust that our team is actually good enough to do that. So yeah, they're gonna attack one of you. Like, I actually, I actually like these dudes. I like these dudes we got. Doodads and, and dudes. So yeah, now they're moving. They're schmoving. And now there's no more Ballista. Now there is no more Ballista. We are all Gucci. And the green units are gonna help us kill the Pegasus Knights. And it's gonna be... The most spectacular time. Why are you... Oh, I thought he was the Windsor guy. I guess the Windsor guy must be dead. Well, they're, they're still... You know, they're doing their hardest. They're trying their best. Okay, you can go to the armory. Call of the armory. We'll sell this. Buy another longbow. I care about the longbow. Okay, um... So it looks like... We can do... Farthest you can move... Okay, let's so move you up. Move you up. Oh, I guess we only care about him surviving. Huh. So we could... 21... Versus 10, so it'll be 11. We'll let Abdul go here. We'll start moving y'all as well. Okay, you go down there. Toro goes there. You go there. Um, move you. Uh, how many rescues do we have? Three and the one, four. So we have four plus two uses. Yeah, so we can. Let Vivek get a little bit of rescue experience. I guess rescuing up Uyama is probably the most productive thing. Like, it's definitely not necessary, but it'll be nice to have her near the pirates to kill them next turn. Since we do want to we do want to use the rescue specifically. Okay. So you're going to get set on fire. Can we get a crit? It would be super awesome if Abdul proved that he didn't need the chill for crit, but he does. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. He's just, he's sad. It's, it's the tome that was in memory of his wife is gone now. I took that from him, and uh, he's allowed to be sad about that. He's allowed to be sad about that. He's allowed to grieve and mourn. Okay, got that Pegasus there. Is that Pegasus going to be a problem for us? She might be. Sleepo Village has drowned now. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so we need to kill this guy before anything. Hmm. Ah, okay. Um, yum, 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 yum. You're... Yeah, you're gonna be a problem for us. Okay. I mean, not really, because we have the Levis Lencia. We don't even need the Levis Lencia. We can Iron Lance this guy down. Okay. No, so she's not a problem. Um... Dodge Queen, too. Okay. So Lily takes care of that one. How does Ancha do? So Ancha can Silver Sword, and Abdul can Fireball, and that actually kills this guy, which is good because then we can steal. Where's Ancha? So Silver Sword kill this guy, steal the Secret Book from the Killer Axe Pirate. And then delete the other two pirates. We'll do that. That's the ideal. We can antique edge to guaranteed kill. In What does a Toro do? Oh, a Toro actually is a fucking god. Okay. So a Toro can actually do this. Get rid of this guy. Get him out of the equation. And then... Goo can give an Iron Bow and a Steel Bow to Shale. Or... Rather, to Killian. Grab the barrier staff. We'll bury Akuja. Uh, we will... Trade the bow to a Toro. Sixteen, bring them to thirteen. And I think we can deal thirteen with the Zane's Blade. One shy. I mean, this definitely at least does thirteen, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, how does Mac do though, actually? Yeah. Yeah, we do it with Mac. We do it with Mac. Mac attack. Mac attack. Boom. There we go. Boom. Gaming. Um. Shaman will be fine for us. We just support. Uh, yep, 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 we're good, we're good. We got all the stealables, we got all the villages, got everything. We're based. Uh, all that's left is to kill the boss. And I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Oh. We got to that armory just in time. We got to that armory just in time. That's actually very funny. I, okay, so this might be controversial, but I actually hate that enemies will attack you when they deal zero damage. It feels, um, it's stupid, right? Like, no tactician would ever actually order that. 
Um, so it makes me like, I don't know, it feels, I know that people don't like that like, for example, engages maddening mode adds that because it means you can't like do dodge tank stuff and armor tank stuff, right? But I don't know, it just feels like bad. Just feels bad. Da -da 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 -da. We'll give an Iron Lance to her. So that she can kill this Shaman. Like, I don't know, I, I don't like the idea of just being able to turn my brain off and set an enemy. It's fun, right, to do Seth and Marcus stuff and just set an enemy and have them kill everyone. But it is ultimately unrewarding. Um, it's an unrewarding type of fun. The engagement is... It doesn't exercise my brain so much. Move you, move you, move you. Whereas this, like... Like, this was a hard map. This was a map that made me think. This is a make map that, like, I didn't have a unit I could just be like, other than, you know, Lily versus the Shamans. I don't know. I like an element of strategy in my strategy RPG. Oh yeah, we could also steal the Metis Tome, uh, but it's not sellable. This is actually kind of a great time for the second Metis Tome to show up. Because you know I said like the first Metis Tome shows up right before Daisy. Um, so the second Metis Tome, next map there's going to be a uh, um, Troubadour, an underleveled Troubadour. And then the following map there's going to be an underleveled Wyvern. Uh, and the Wyvern is definitely an S. The Troubadour you could argue, I don't think so. Cause she doesn't have like growths or whatever, but she's the first mounted staffer. Unless you've double promoted Abdul. Um go here. Get all y'all Get all y'all chug a luggin' along. Kim Shale? Probably not. I'll check Shale's supports. Kim is like... It's weird. Kim is a unit who I like... Might deploy... Just cause... Of the like... The fact that he's a cavalry. But god damn is she awful. It's just a matter of, like, in a growth playthrough, I would definitely have enough units to fill out my team. What is this guy doing? Is he stupid? I think he's just stupid. Nine strength, seven strength, eleven strength. So we can deal 21 to him with the bread knife. I mean, that seems like a good start. And then we rescue drop Killian off, of course, so we can heal him up. But yeah, this is a uh, bread knife gaming action. <laughs> Okay, so we can go there. Ansha, take proper Rooney. Do that. Um, the bread knife is just the best way to kill most bosses. Um, especially since. How close is Killian to doubling? Like, if Killian had gotten a single point of speed, 
and be able to double, right? And that's valuable. We'll do... We want to put Killian... We want to rescue drop Killian closer. Okay, so I think we... Take... Uh, do we support? Yeah, let's support. We get the flyers all going. Give. Uh, move you... Drop over there. Okay. So, fun fact about the supporting flyers thing. I'm fairly certain that activating a support is what allows the take give. Because in vanilla, you can't take give. You can take drop. Or you can move give. But you t can't take give. So I think supporting resets that menu and tricks the game into thinking I didn't take this turn. Which, uh... I mean, that's baller, right? That is the downside of the bread knife, is it can miss. But any boss kill thing, any boss kill strat can miss. Okay. How far can Vivek go? Vivek can go to where Shale is. Okay. So yeah, we can take drop. I guess the other downside is because the bread knife gets most of its power from critting, if you're doing like a low turn thing, uh, you can do better by using something that is naturally weaker, but you're able to rig crits on. Like, part of the strength of the bread knife is the automatic crit, much like the uh, Ancient Edge. But when you are already rigging crits, right? Like, if, you, if this were, like, a, a LTC or whatever. Like, I know in Toffee's 100%, it's all super rigged. Um, and in that... In, really, Killian? Oh, you... You're not gonna crit for me now. You just want to embarrass me while I'm on camera like this. I mean, 80, it, I get, it is proof 82 is not 100, but... I mean, maybe Killian just wants me to be able to get Vivek closer to A rank stats. God, he's already at B and a half. The power of rescue and barrier. Come on. Come on. Yes. Very good. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. All right. Can Shale bring us home? Oh, baby. Those hit rates. They're not good. <laughs> These hit rates are not good. Uh, skill. Ten skill. <gasps> oh no! I believe. There we go! Now we're gaming. Now we're gaming. Oh, she's so sassy in her portrait. I love it. Okay, we'll heal you up. We'll move Kuja, and then I think we'll bury her, and we will seize. Um, I mean, I guess we can also get Tiny Top off with the heal. She's not getting doubled, right? Yeah, of course not. Look at how much of the map has drowned now. Like, it's all it's all water. It's all water. Is this the last ballista shot? No, it's still five. 
It hasn't been firing at all because I've been rescue dropping out. This music is very catchy. Uh, does anyone know what this music is? Uh, cause it's very catchy. Uh, so they have wind plus light. This should give plus one might. I'll activate it. Now we're one tile shy. All this means is more staff rank for Vivek. Uh, the reason I, I activated the plus one might support is we do have the boltings, and potentially Vivek bolting could be a thing. We'll bury her up, Kuja, and then seize the throne. Uh, and that'll be it for this map. And we're entering Interlude 2, so uh, tune in next time for Interlude 2. Bye-bye.